Hey YouTube, this is DWC Hydro Guy here, and I just want to take a minute to kind of explain uh, to anybody who's looking to get started in hydroponics or um, just kind of experiment a little bit and uh, really kind of go over the nutrients that I personally use um, right now. And I may expand a little bit on uh, my nutrient section, but I don't know. Uh, it's, I mean, what I've got in front of me has, has been working pretty good. As you can see, I've got um, an advanced nutrients line and a general high, high, uh, or general organics line. And with the uh, advanced nutrient line, I've got the micro grow and bloom. And for general organics, as you can see, I've got the calcium magnesium supplement and I've also got the bio root. Um, what I normally use um, for my seedlings and when my plants are about, uh, I don't know, like 8, 10 inches tall, um, I normally stick with the micro and grow, but it's, it's kind of it's kind of weird because advanced nutrients says you're supposed to use all three of these but in my opinion I don't really see the point in using the bloom because I'm not forcing flower um, it just doesn't make any sense and then the uh, calcium magnesium supplement I'm also using that the bio root I you know to be honest with you it says it's a root booster but I I haven't really used too much of it um, the last time I used the bio root was probably oh let's see probably about two weeks two weeks after I had transplanted my uh, seedlings from soil into the DWC system and after that I haven't really messed with it so I don't know if it's if it's a you know good product or bad product I don't know if anybody has any suggestions or if you know you got any any ideas on how I could integrate that into the system please do so below because I'm you know I don't want to just waste my money on it um, the micro and the grow though you know I've I've had my tomato plants and my uh, pepper plant growing for about five weeks total now it's been about two weeks into the hydroponic system and really what I've done and, and, and I've kind of played around with the with the uh, nutrients a little bit because on the back of of the uh, of the buckets I don't know let me see if I can show you this um, I don't know if it'll focus or not but let me see if I can get it to You see that it says use four milliliters per liter during all weeks, two milliliters per liter for small plants with three to four leaves, and then one liter for cuttings and seeds. So, I mean, when I went by the directions, I think I, I think I messed up a little bit. Um, or maybe I didn't mess up, but maybe it was just too powerful. So I've pretty much, I've pretty much been sticking with about a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half for the grow and the micro and the uh, calcium magnesium supplement because. Now I know some of y'all may say, "Well, man, that's uh, you know your parts per million is going to be you know super low. There's really no point." I mean, I am using RO water, and you know my parts per million <laughs> really is about maybe 170 ranges between 150 and 170. So I don't know. It's been growing pretty good. Um, if you go back to my uh, my uh, DWC uh, closet system my vegetable DWC closet system you'll see where 
where the progress is at right now. Uh, my daughter was in the video when I shot it, but you know that's that's doing what I've been doing. You know, between one and one and a half, I've changed the nutrients out probably three times. Uh, the second time, my um, my uh, what you call it is when I followed the directions. For some reason, I don't know, I just thought, hey, I'll go ahead and follow the directions and see what's up. And I think I over-nutrient them because my pH rose to about 8.3, 8.4. And I was like, okay, i got to flush this. So I emptied everything, changed it into the 5-gallon Home Depot bucket, and went back to... Um, one and a half milliliters for the micro, one and a half milliliters for the grow, and one and a half milliliters for the calcium magnesium supplement. And then I actually did the uh, one and a half milliliters of the bloom uh, this time, or the second time. And then I went back to micro and grow, and then calcium and magnesium. So I don't know. I'm just messing around with it. This is my first time. Uh, messing around with the um, hydroponics or DWC, so I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm no, I'm definitely not an expert at all. I'm just, I'm just testing. But I do plan on growing uh, a whole nother batch of peppers in my five-gallon bucket, um, and I've got three seedlings start, or uh, actually three seeds planted as of two days ago. So I got them in rock wool, soaking, and just kind of going from there. And as soon as they sprout, I'll I'll create another video on that. But as far as the nutrients go, I mean, the advanced nutrient line, I mean, is fairly. Ex I don't know if it's expensive. I mean, it, it it's whatever's in your budget. I mean, and there's cheaper products out there. I know, um, but it's right at forty five dollars a gallon for each one of these. But right at this moment I'm not using a whole lot so I'm not really feeling the impact on the wallet now once I grow my garden and I get it out of the closet you know maybe that'll I mean I'm pretty sure that'll probably change but uh, General Organics makes a pretty good line and uh, and and you'll find you'll find all kinds of nutrients out there but I guess starting out this is what I use um, and it's done pretty well and you know if you if you're kind of on a budget like I am then you know I, I know I went overboard on this because you know I saved up money and I wanted to you know I got overwhelmed with all the videos out there on YouTube and I was like man I just wanna you know let let me just get this that and the other and you know I've spent quite a bit of money on it and it doesn't have to be that expensive so I don't know. It's it's whichever way you want to go with it. But hydroponics, I know you definitely need uh, some micro. I know you need grow, and I know you need bloom. If if bare minimum, just stick with those three. So maybe you found some value in this video or not. Um, you know, please comment below. Uh, you know, tell me about that bio route too. I mean, if you got any suggestions you know please do because I don't want to just sit there and waste some money and um, until next time hey thanks for watching